Little People, Big Dreams. Tien. Jane Goodall. Written by Maria Isabel Sanchez Vergara. Illustrated by Beatrice Carucci. Little People, Big Dreams. Tien. Jane Goodall. Written by Marie Isabel Sanchez Vergara. Illustrated by Beatrice Carucci. Francis Lincoln Children's Books. When Jane was a little girl, her father gave her a stuffed chimpanzee named Jubilee. She carried him wherever she went. Jane loved animals very much. She wanted to live in the jungle with wild chimpanzees, just like the heroes of her bedtime stories, Tarzan and Jane. At night, her mother and her their adventures. But Jane could not afford to go to college to study animals, so she would have to study them in her own way. She saved every penny she had until she could buy a boat ticket to Kenya in Africa. When she arrived, Jane met a well-known scientist named Louis Leakey. He was looking for a chimpanzee researcher willing to study them in the wild. He thought that they could learn about humans by studying apes. It was the opportunity Jane had been waiting for. So, Jane took another journey to the shores of Gombe in Tanzania. To start with, she couldn't see any chimpanzees, but she had the feeling that they were near, watching her. She decided to sit quietly in the same spot, day after day. Finally, a small group of chimpanzees appeared and let her sit with them. Jane had been accepted into the family! Instead of numbering them as all the other scientists did, Jane decided to give every chimpanzee a name. There was David Greybeard, Flo, Flint, Fifi, and Gigi to name a few. By watching them closely, she noticed that some chimps were kind, quiet, and generous, while others were bullies. It seemed that humans and chimps were not so different after all. Then Jane made another incredible discovery. Chimpanzees can make their own tools! This was something only humans were sought to do. Jane's talent was quickly recognized by Cambridge University. Here, she studied for a doctorate in animal behavior, and it wasn't long before she wrote her first article for one, of, for, one of, for one of the most famous science magazines. Jane continued to study chimps in the Gambia for 40 years, but jungles were starting to disappear across Africa, which put all animals in danger. She knew she had to do something. Jane joined countless projects to protect nature. She was no longer just a courageous researcher, but also the most determined wildlife defender the world had ever seen. And the little girl who left animals challenges us to be kind to nature. Because if chimpanzees can live in harmony with the environment, we can too. Jane Goodall, born 1934, present. Jane Goodall was born in London, England. When she was one, her father gave her a cuddly toy chimpanzee named Jubilee. Some people thought it would scare her, but she loved it, and it fostered her early love of animals. From an early age, Jane dreamed of living in Africa, where she could watch and write about animals. Jane's mother encouraged her dream and told her she must never give up. But when Jane left school, she couldn't afford to go to college to follow her dream, so she worked hard to save enough money, and in 1957, she traveled to Kenya, in Africa. There, she met with a very important scientist named Louis Leakey, who was so impressed with Jane that he hired her as his assistant. Jane traveled to the Gombe Stream Chimpanzee Reserve in Tanzania to study chimps in the wild. At first, it was hard to get close enough to study them, but Jane waited patiently every day, giving them their space. Soon, they accepted her. By watching them closely, Jane made many groundbreaking discoveries. 
Most importantly, she saw chimps making and using tools. This was something only humans were sought to do. Jane showed that there isn't a sharp divide between humans and primates after all. Later, Jane studied for a doctorate and became a world-leading expert on chimpanzees. Now Jane, Jane dedicates her life to conservation educa and education, spreading the message that we can all make a difference to the future of our planets. Want to find out more about Jane Goodall? Read one of these great books. I am Jane Goodall by Brad Meltzer and Christopher Eliopoulos. My Life with the Chimpanzees by Dr. Jane Goodall. The Watcher by Jeanette Winter. Learn how you can help Jane Goodall make the world a better place for her worldwide program for young people of all ages. Roots and Shoots. The Roots and Shoots program has groups in more than 100 countries. Kids from kindergarten to college, all working on projects of their own choosing to improve their communities. Q. The Quarter Group. Inspiring, educating, creating, entertaining. Brimming with creative inspiration, how-to projects, and useful information to enrich your everyday life, Quarter Nose is a favorite destination for those pursuing their interests and passions. Visit our site and dig deeper with our books into your area of interest. Quarter Creates, Quarter Cooks, Quarter Homes, Quarter Lives, Quarter Drives, Quarter Explores, Quarter Gifts, or Quarter Kids. The illustrations were created with gouache and pastels. It's an adventure of BT. Little People, Big Dreams. Tim, Jane Goodall. Discover the lives of outstanding people, from designers and artists to scientists. All of them achieved incredible things, yet each began life as a child with a dream. When Jane was ill, her father gave her a toy chimpanzee named Jubilee. This inspired her lifelong love of animals, and she went to study them in the wild as soon as she could. Jane lived with chimpanzees in their natural habitat and became famous for her pioneering approach to research. She now educates the public on animal rights. This inspiring story of her life features a facts and photos section at the back. Sold as part of a set, not to be sold separately.